Hello everyone, happy Friday, happy Friday, welcome in. Hello, hi guys, happy Friday, hi. Happy Friday, hi. Hello, hello. Happy Friday, guys. Hey, hi. Hello, guys. Y'all gonna see me eat these popcorns, okay? Yes, I am actually enjoying spring break with my kids. I really am. Happy Friday. Oh, I miss you guys too. New LV lover. Hey guys. I'm addicted. I am super addicted. What is going on with my lashes? It's time. So what's going on? Happy Friday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hi. Oh, I'm always excited to see you guys as well. Let me cut this down. Hey guys. So, oh, thank you. Guys, we are going to speak on a, it's probably gonna be a touchy subject. Um, I did my research. I'm gonna let a few more people come on because I don't want them to say, oh my God, what I miss. Hey, from Arkansas. Um, it's going to be a touchy subject. Well, I don't think it's a touchy subject, but to some of you guys, it might be. And I, like I said, I don't want to disrespect anyone. Um, let me this way. Nothing excites me. Yeah, nothing excited me either. And I'm going to speak on that as well when I went to, I went to the LV Boutique here in the Galleria. But I did a little bit of research on Kusama. You know, because like I said, I don't like disrespecting a creator. I just don't like disrespecting anyone. So I had to take time to kind of YouTube and, you know, kind of search what this lady had going on. What what the dots mean. I even hate to call them dots, but that's what they are. They're dots. I'm happy to see you as well, Debbie. Hello. Welcome in. Um, But... I am kind of wondering what's behind these brands. You guys know we support Louis Vuitton. We support all these brands, Prada, um, Gucci, Fendi. But do you guys ever wonder what's going on? What, what are we really supporting? You know, what are we really supporting? Last Handbag Bestie Friday, not this past Friday because we missed this Friday but the Friday before um I know I'm mispronouncing the the brand name Lowe Lowe but you guys know when I went on the page it was like a disturbing picture okay and it just honestly have me thinking like what's going on what are they promoting and I don't like looking too deep into it but then I also I just think about Honestly, what we are spending our money on. So, like I said, I did my research. Um, I really, really, I'm being honest with you guys. You won't see me purchase from that line, the Kusama line, okay? I didn't see much on her speaking about racism and her not wanting certain race supporting her. But I did look up her past, how she had a love for art at a young age. And it was basically like banned. Like her mother didn't believe in it. She didn't have any support. Um, she was mentally abused, physically abused. And um, she went into a, like a deep depression. Lové. Okay, thank you so much, Lové. But I, I, Lové scared me as well. But my thing is... I understand LV, that's what they do, okay? They collab with different people 
but are they making they're making money off of this woman's depression do you understand what i'm saying i understand she gave them consent she's making money as well but is that what it's all about i wouldn't want to purchase a handbag knowing it has something to do with a depression or a terrible childhood it's like a it's like a reminder okay like if you go through a stage in your life where you're depressed when you get over that depression you don't want to think about it you don't want to go back to that place do you guys understand what i'm saying i know a few of you understand what i'm saying so my thing is did lv really research any of this or is it that they don't care? Is it about the coins? What are we really supporting? Like, I love all over ton handbags. You guys know I do. But do we honestly think about it? Like the Love, I know I'm going to mispronounce it again. But I told, I showed you guys. I went to their page and I just saw a disturbing picture. What is going on? Balenciaga. <laughs> like that was just exposed they were exposed basically when we went to the galleria guys balenciaga it was like ghost town it was like no one in there like one or two people in there shopping it wasn't the line it was crazy it was crazy like to see how they went from being such like one of the top brands luxury brands to basically because like you say, what happens in the dark comes to the light. It was just their turn. It was just their turn. Balenciaga can't even post without those comments being so disturbing. Okay? So, it's crazy. So, I'm glad. Like, I'm hoping. Hi, Laurie. I'm hoping she's in a good place. I'm hoping she is, and I know she's making money from it. I, I saw that she's like 90 years old, um, but I just don't feel comfortable purchasing something that is like a reminder of what this woman went through, especially if you're a person that's been depressed, you know, been depressed before, if you had a troubled childhood, yeah, T Mac, I'm not. Uh uh. <laughs> that low vey, that's that's. I'm I just can't go so much. Yes, I, I researched that. She expresses herself through art, which that's a great outlet. You know, it's a great outlet. Um, and I'm I'm hoping she's really, really in a good place. But me, I can't see myself purchasing knowing the true meaning behind it. If you go on YouTube and actually research she really did have a troubled childhood no support and i mean it, it wasn't just an outlet for her that's something that she loved and it was it was basically snatched from her no support mentally physically abused it was a lot that this woman went through and like i said i just i don't know it's just hard for me and i honestly had to sit back and think like what what's behind these brands Happy Friday, what's really behind these brands? It's crazy. And yes, Balenciaga is done. If you go to their page, it's done. I do see a few people still wear the handbags that they, you know, they purchase, but it's never going to be the same. So let me know, do you guys like, or do, or you just mind your business? You don't care. Yeah, the, their true colors were exposed. Hi, Latoya. Shade, that's, that's, that's right. Like, I'm just hoping <laughs> that doesn't come like LV isn't exposed. Correct, Denise. Like, we had a round one from her. We had to drop one. We had, we, we had to drop one. But then to come and do a drop two. Okay, mastermind. So you say you don't care. Yeah, a lot of people don't care. You know, but me, as a business owner, I care about what I put out. 
I stand firm on what I believe. And I want, I don't want to be a person, a business owner, to have to constantly hide my hand. What you see from me is what you get, okay? I'm not going to be doing something in the background, which, okay, <laughs> you do care. So I don't want to, like I said, whatever happens in the dark comes to light. Whatever you're doing wrong, especially with those children, that was just horrible, is going to be exposed. And sometimes God wait to we're at our top, at our peak, for it to be exposed. Yes, I'm not that attached either. I just some I just honestly had to sit back and think. We constantly just purchase, purchase, purchase. And I'm being honest myself. I never thought about it until this past week when I went and I took my husband to the Galleria. And we walked in the Galleria in the men's store in LV. And when I say the dots are like once you walk in there, like they're right there in your face you can't miss them and so i was just like i understand she's making money i understand lv's making money but the true meaning even though she expressed herself through art she's expressing her hurt what she went through and here we are just purchasing and you know wearing these dots and it's just to me it's it's crazy very yes it does it really does like balenciaga i know a few people i saw on youtube you know they were burning their stuff you know they were throwing their stuff away some people say they're just not wearing it um anymore but i just hope and pray like lv doesn't have any shady doings that's going on that's you know that's going to be exposed hi welcome so guys let me know how you feel i i just i don't know i don't know i just had to bring it up like i said i was just happy that i actually took time to research her <laughs> yep so that's it just make sure we do our research guys on these brain <laughs> Yeah, like I said, Cheryl, like I'm not against it. It's just me. I can't see myself supporting it. I can't see myself supporting it at all. I understand everyone has an outlet. The drop one was enough. The drop one was enough. So I'm not against. If you guys bought the dots, wear the dots. I'm not against it. Okay, I'm not against it, but I had to honestly do my own research. That's just me. Except for saying, oh, you know, that handbag isn't cute. It looks childish. I knew it wasn't for me before even knowing her story, but I wanted to know why. Why was this artist so, you know, infatuated with dots? We're talking about um, LV, Tom the Kusama collection. Yes, most definitely. That's, that's why. Because I receive a lot of messages, you know, asking me, am I going to purchase this handbag? Like I told you, the drop two. I even did a video. I'm not here to disrespect, but I like to give you guys updates that, you know, when handbags are coming out, just like, when by the pool, by the pool, when that comes out, I'm going to give you guys still my honest opinion. I'm excited about by the pool collection that's coming out. And so I gave my honest opinion on drop number two. So I didn't excuse. I didn't just say, hey, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to bring it up. Just like I bring up every other collection. I spoke on Kusama drop two. And I just feel like the faces on the handbags. The sun with the tears, like, I just, I just feel like it was just kind of, you know, too much. And so for those that send me a message, I'm not, I'm not purchasing guys. I'm not into that collection. 
Oh yeah, I received it too. I didn't even, I didn't even post. Like I already had all of that. The lookbook, I had that already. Yeah. Okay, I think there's hidden stuff everywhere. There's hidden stuff everywhere. All these luxury brands, guys, everyone has something that's hidden, okay? There's things that we've done in our past, in our life, that we hope and pray doesn't surface. That's just, that's being a human. I understand that, okay? When you say these people have things hidden, yes, these luxury brands, but my thing is, Balenciaga was most definitely out of line with the children. Okay. That's that's just crazy. I'm glad that was exposed. It's not my business. You know, they knew what was going on. It was exposed. But I honestly think these CEOs, these, you know, these people, these owners, all of these people live different lives, guys. Their job is to promote and brand the company. Whatever needs to be exposed, any wrongdoing will be exposed, okay? Yeah, correct. Correct. It was just Balenciaga's time. I, like I said, I just hope LV isn't doing anything shady. Because look, most of my handbags are LV. <laughs> I just honestly, you know, had to think about it. And like I said, that Kus the Kusama, the drop one was enough. Now, it's so many other handbags that we need, that we want. And here they are with another, with another drop. I honestly wonder, do LV listen to us, you know? Um, I only have a few bags sitting here with me now. Oh, I love Frida. Yes, and she did. She exposed her. I yes. Not exposed. She basically spoke, you know, her hurt and what she went through, even with her husband, Diego, all of that through art. But I wouldn't want that on a handbag. Cause she went through a lot from her back, you know, miscarriages. I love Frida. It's just that's just crazy, okay? So I wanted to bring that up and talk about that and just make sure. <laughs> yeah, me too. Becca, most definitely me too. Okay, so guys, we are going to talk because some of you guys are wondering why I didn't purchase the monogram clutch. Yes, I love Frida. Yeah, just be careful, guys. That was my that was my thing. That was my only thing. Like I know a lot of artists, and you know that's what they use as an outlet. It's just that I don't want I don't want to purchase any of those, you know, and I don't want that as a reminder on my handbag, okay? Because when I see it, I'm not going to think of hey this woman. I'm not going to think of hey this woman is okay now. No, if I see a sad face. Or a face with the mouth open, I'm going to wonder, like, what the hell did this woman go through? What type of depression? What happened? So, I don't want that on my handbag. Okay? That's my only thing. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm upset because, you know, that LV did a drop one. I was just kind of like, the drop two is kind of too much. And this drop here... Is, is, I, I don't know. So, this was the handbag of the day, guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes. When I tell you this, guys, this is my favorite. This is my favorite MLBB in my collection. This is my favorite. The LP leather, this, this is everything, guys. Me too. So, and I honestly thought I wouldn't like the silver hardware. <sighs> yeah, that's how I feel. It's like a, a constant reminder of her being sad. So, but this is the handbag. Of course, guys, it came with a guitar strap. I don't even know if I have it. Yeah, I have it in here. 
But this guitar strap isn't bad. Yes. I, I know I am going to. This spring, I'm, look, I'm talking too much. So more epi leather is coming out, okay? More epi leather is coming out. I know I am going to grab more epi leather ammo BBs, okay? Yes, I have seen the turquoise color and I can, I'm, I need yellow, I need red. Was that the only, I need yellow, red and a blue handbag. Yes so cute but of course guys i'm not upset with this guitar strap and you know what y'all not gonna get me today let me set my timer y'all are not going to get me today i'm doing an hour uh-uh pause because y'all get me every time let me set this just give me a second because y'all will not have me on here till midnight Y'all see that? Yes, the timer. <laughs> the timer. I'm getting off here at 8 o'clock. Y'all will not get me today. Y'all see that? Y'all playing with the wrong one. <laughs> I'm just joking. So we do. We have some things to talk about. No, I'm not getting no wine. I'm not getting a wine. No. No. I'm hanging out with y'all, but y'all not finna have me on here <laughs> because I don't know if y'all saw the viral TikTok, but it's ice cream that look like chicken, a bucket of chicken, and that just came in. And so King is excited. So y'all, I'm going to do a video, but yes, the bucket of chicken, the bucket of ice cream chicken is in and it looks like real chicken. And so we're going to do some experiment with that as well. But eight o'clock, that's it. But this, I'm telling you guys, these guitar straps, these guitar straps, right? I use them as belts. I showed you guys a video. I use them as belts. So this one right here is actually my favorite. Another one came with the Speed 20. I'm not just too fond of that one. I just have it hanging up. But this is most definitely my favorite. This is beautiful. Put this on here for y'all yeah y'all thought y'all was gonna have me on here to midnight I, I, uh, uh. y'all give me every time so here it is she say huh? you better use some extenders girl i don't know i just don't like you with this bag i don't know but it's okay i guess Ooh, I had an entire video on the nude Emma BB and the Clooney mini handbag, and I did not load that video. I know it's cute. Everybody didn't like that color, but I know it's absolutely gorgeous. Defects, I'm so annoyed. Ooh, don't get me on defects because, you know, I'm going to try. I'm going to record it. Tell me what's defective on your handbag. Which handbag is defective and what's defective? I am going to try the blow drying method again. Hey, what's going on, friend? Um, the blow drying method again for my Speedy. I'm going to stuff my Speedy 25 bandolier and I'm going to, because I tried it one time. The first time it didn't work. I tried it a second time and it worked on the sides. And so I stopped. I got busy. So I'm going to do it again and I'm going to record it. So I'm going to stuff the bag and do the blow dryer on the front. So if you have a defective bag, let me know which handbag it is. Let's see if we can help. My most used bag is my Ikari, my YSL Ikari handbag and my Loop Gym. Uh, it just has a lot of creases in it. My Speedy 25 is brand new. I haven't used it yet. It just has a lot of creases in the canvas. But it's brand new. Let me cut this down. Okay, and I have this handbag sitting here. Hi, Judy, what's going on? A lot of you guys asked about this strap. I purchased this in the Galleria. 
okay it was available to purchase on the website i'm not sure if it still is but i love it because of course it's detachable and it's adjustable and i love that it's monogram and black i see the order twice sure i was feeling second one locked oh man that probably was a return the neo noe the first one for me that i purchased it was glazing issues the first one well i didn't even purchase it i saw the glazing issue while i was there at the boutique and i walked away and so guys when i was ordering online do you know my handbags were were actually a better quality than when i purchased in the boutiques it was crazy like when i order online and i received my handbag this before i had a ca you know, I was just getting to LV. But if I go into the boutique, guys, that's what I noticed. Like, my handbags were, like, kind of horrible. Like, sometimes I catch them before purchasing. If I, I look through and I see, also check those handles because you can, re, you can tell if it was a return. So, make sure you inspect those handbags. Fine, but someone advised me to stitching was awful yes oh my gosh guys it was and then when you purchase in the boutique they try to convince they try to convince you like it wasn't like that when you know when you left i checked it no that's why i check it right there in their face yeah that's why i was like it's it's crazy maybe you know they do like i guess the qc the inspection before sending it out because i want the Oh, thank you. You know, L LV, they're supposed to cut me a check like two years ago. I'm still waiting for it in the mail. It haven't came in yet. So I'm still waiting. <laughs> but you guys know this beauty is discontinued. The reverse monogram. Okay, the reverse monogram is discontinued. And I took this bag tag off. What's the city steamer that I have? Yeah, I took this off of that handbag and just added it. Yeah. Oh, Becca, so many people tell me that, you know, I was going to sell that handbag. I was going to sell the reverse monogram speedy 30 bandolier because I was just like, it's too big. You know, it's just too big. I am so glad I kept it because after using it, I, you know, I have a baseboard. I have an organizer. And when I finally use it, I actually start start liking it now i don't love it but i do like it but if you don't have a palm springs mini backpack you're missing out mm -hmm. I'm the oh. hey rosa what's going on i didn't get to read your comment i wanted to see what you said what happened Girl, I don't know. I heard one. Someone told me it was thirteen thousand. Someone told me it was fifteen thousand. I don't know. That's true, Shay. A lady on TikTok is a viral video going on now. She ordered the reverse monogram pochette Matisse. She was in Las Vegas. They took it to the back so she, cause she didn't want to have it on her. So they shipped it to her house. They shipped her a totally different bag. <laughs> a totally different bag. Yeah, the Speedy, the hard case Speedy that I want. Someone told me it was $13,000. Someone sent me a picture showing that it was $15,000. That's why I said in my last video, like, that'll be a Birkin bag for some of you guys. So that'll be, like, me purchasing a Birkin bag. But um, I love how YSL does it. When I go into St. Lauren, when I purchase, they actually do all of that right then and there in your face. They package. They don't have to take it to the bag. I'm not sure. I know in a Galleria. When I go in a Galleria here in Houston, they do it right there. The Chanel price increase. It's hard for me to speak on because I don't have a Chanel, but I heard the Trendy CC didn't go up. In, you know, I heard it didn't increase. So you guys let me know. I don't know if that's true. 
but 17%, that's a lot. We already know if they're going up, guys, that much, they are catering. I keep telling you guys, they are catering to a certain clientele. If you can't afford it, they don't care. They want to make more money. <laughs> that's all that is to it. And it's people out there that's paying their price. So they're going to keep going up. If it's people that's purchasing, they feel like, hey, we are still making money. People are still purchasing, so we are going to cater to this, this crowd, okay? This is what they want to cater to. But if people, even if a group of people get together and don't purchase, you still have this group of people here that love Chanel so much, they will still purchase. So they're not going to change. They're not going to stop at all. Just like I told you guys. If you look at some of the items on Louis Vuitton website, you can see that the prices are much higher. The prices are much higher. We're all sitting here waiting for a price increase. Price increase hit. It's just on certain bags. But I honestly think that another one will come to where it's going to be exposed. Chris Hill bag in person. Wow. I was kind of confused on that because when I first wanted to actually purchase from Chanel, I didn't know you can purchase online. I was just like, why is all this makeup on here? Why I can't purchase? So I am still in the field of learning about it. Okay. I don't know. I just feel like if they have the price increase at 17% and people are still purchasing, they're not... They're not tripping, guys. It's not phasing them at all if you say, hey, I'm not purchasing from Chanel. I'm walking away. Just like with LV. They did a drop one and a drop two because people are buying this woman's collection. So for the few people that are saying that they're not buying from the collection, drop one had to have a great turnout for them to come and do a drop two. Do you guys understand? Drop one had to be good from the Kusama collection for them to come and do a drop two. They even have ready to wear, more ready to wear in, in the shoes. She has handbags. She has the shoes. She has ready to wear. This woman has the bandeau. She has all of it. Oh, lucky you. Lucky, lucky you. Mm. Yeah, you can most definitely purchase Dior online because I have a few I have a few handbags in cart <laughs> for Dior, a few handbags in cart. But Chanel, like I told you, you know, I didn't know anything about it, and so I went on there honestly to purchase. Mm-mm. No. That's just crazy. I don't know. So it's hard for me to speak on Chanel, the price increase. How do you guys feel? Are you, for you guys that purchase Chanel, are you still going to purchase? How do you feel? How do you feel about it? I just don't know. I just hope LV don't pull any stunt like that at all. I'm hoping and praying they don't. That will be a sad day for all of us LV lovers, okay? Like, I'm wondering why they gave Kusama the on-the-go tote with this monogram print, with this size. We don't want the nanogram. We are tired of the giant print. We want an on-the-go tote with this, the mid print, okay? This is what we want. I don't know, but everything that we asked for is coming out in the Kusama collection with her art on there. So when I made that video, I was being like honest, like we want, we need those handbags. Those would be so dope to have. That's what we're missing. I'm just glad they didn't give her any reverse monogram. And I hope, I hope they don't. <laughs> I hope nobody is watching. And go back and tell them. No reverse monogram, okay? And so, I told you I had a few handbags. And guys, don't sleep on this. I need more handbags. Yeah. 
yeah, I you know what? I don't even know how much the trendy CC is now. I think I went on there and it was like $6,700. I don't know. Deal box bags. No, Becca. I haven't heard of them. Ooh, that's what I was looking at. Those brooches from Chanel. Yeah. LV, if they make me the creative director for women, baby, we are going to ball. <laughs> okay. But yeah, they did. They gave who some. They gave her everything. Everything. But guys, I want to tell you. My SLG, SLGs, you guys know, I am full of SLGs. Some of them I haven't even showed you guys yet. But the be careful, first of all, because I feel like I'm most definitely stuck with a lot of SLGs. I am. I love it as well. I feel like I'm stuck with a lot of SLGs because at one time in my life, I was just purchasing to just purchase, okay? Going crazy, just purchasing, purchasing, purchasing. So be careful. But this most definitely... It slept on. It slept on. It reminds me of the insert that comes with the Felici handbag. But it's amazing. I showed you guys how to convert it. Well, the Kusama Felici. I haven't even seen. I haven't seen it. But I most definitely wouldn't wouldn't purchase anything from her from that collection. I wanted to see the inside of the Felici from the Kusama, but mm -mm. I did too. I'm going to speak on that, guys, because it was so hard for me. Oh, Tony, she only one once for dinner. It's ridiculous. I would be so mad because I have two brooches. I have one from Fendi and one from YSL. Perfect condition. I've done a SLG. I think it was last around Christmas last year. Around last year of all my SLGs. And that video took forever. Oh, my God. I will start with a mini pochette. If you start your SLG collection, start with a mini pochette because you can convert it into a crossbody. But me, I love the slim purse. I'm telling you, and the Braza wallet. I don't need, I basically don't need anything else. I have this card holder as well here. The Juliet. Yes, I have the reverse monogram Juliet wallet. I have it with my reverse monogram um, handbags. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it at all. I'm sorry. I just, I can't support it. You can do a mini pochette like me. I love having the key pouch as well. But most definitely a mini pochette. And, and this is, I just want to give like my six key ring holder you know, a break. And so, and because these were brand new, guys, never used. And so I was like, I have to start using these SLGs. I have to. And y'all see, I have to have a the Apple tag because <laughs> if it's not in my six key ring holder, I'm most definitely going to lose this. And so I just keep it in here. Ooh, let me see. The browser wallet holds. I love the browser wallet. Hold on, guys. Let me. Um. This is my desk agenda. This is the GM, okay? And this right here. I have these bags sitting out here just to show you guys. And I'm going to have to tell you about my experience when I went in. But this right here. Um. I'm getting more inserts, not the LV inserts. I get my inserts from Amazon, okay? And I just have it high stamped here. But the desk agenda, I absolutely love. This is, again, the GM size. But I think I want one, a smaller one with the S-lock open and closure as well. So, guys, these SLGs that I'm showing you, this right here, most definitely slip on. Convert this into a clutch. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. But I do this for you guys. So, 
I do this. You good, Chris? <laughs> Chris. Chris. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all, Chris, up that's him. He's up there coughing like he smoked four packs of cigarettes a day. <laughs> Chris. Oh, you in that cough. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, guys, let me get back focused. Because he up there coughing away. Yes, he... <coughs> Yes, you was. I was like, man, I know he don't smoke, but it seemed like he smoked like four or five packs, like Newports, the packs. Not one cigarette, the whole pack. Four of them. That cough was, ugh. come on now. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, he going to give me, y'all. I'm talking mess because I'm downstairs. He upstairs. But that cough was loud. Like, I was on the phone with my mentees. And he, <laughs> like, I know you 40. You ain't got to act like you 40. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, you going to get me later. <laughs> Somebody say you got to go into the garage. <laughs> Y'all, he going to get me. I'm going to leave him alone. <laughs> but, God, like he's, like, he's smoking a cigarette or something. <laughs> but... <laughs> yes, don't sleep on this at all. Y'all know we crazy. <laughs> well, y'all brother need to go get some help. <laughs> Goodness gracious. This, I wouldn't... This SLG, guys, I'm not too fond of it. The only reason I didn't sell it is because I used it before and I have scratches on the hardware and I cannot sell anything that doesn't look brand new. I would feel just absolutely horrible, so I kept it. I forgot to keep the plastic on the gold hardware, and so I just didn't sell it. I just hate, I have a lot of cards, okay? I do, I have a lot of cards, and I don't like to have my cards back-to-back -to -back touching, okay? No, he need prayer, Latoya. Nothing medicine can do for that cough. Um, on the website, it says card holder. I'm not sure. I'll try to find it. But if you don't have a lot of cards, this will be perfect for you. It's like a, you know, I don't know what the name of it. I, just, I think it's like a card holder, but I, I don't know the name. I have to look it up. But I have this one and the Rose Ballerine Pink. I have both of them. So I'll try to look it up and let you guys know. Okay. You guys, I know you have the Montessori. I know you have the Montessori backpack. I know you guys have this in your collection. Come on now. One of the hottest backpacks that LV has ever created. And thought about it. Which one? Nice to hear which SLG? I went, they didn't have any good SLGs when I went there. Okay, the goose card holder. Okay, I just, I don't know. When I first purchased, it was okay. Like I said, I, I got the rose ballerine pink, so I had to like it. But I guess the Braza wallet, once I start using that, like I said, it holds... 16 cards. I'm able to open it and see each and every card. Which bucket bag? Mm -hmm. Yes, I use the wristlet. I wish I had it with me. I use the wristlet to convert. I just use the opening right here. The Montessori is too small. You must purchase the BB. This Montessori, you know what? This is it right here. It was on the back of... You know what? God is good because I didn't want to get up. And here it is right here. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, Andrea. Welcome. Andrea, you are late to the party. Let me look at the timer. Let me look at the timer. 
Because I set a time, because y'all not going to get me today. Let's see where we at. Let's see where we are. Okay, y'all have 28 minutes. We have 28 minutes to talk. But this is how I convert into a wristlet, okay? This is it. Y'all see this opening here? Y'all see that? And then, Chris, you in that coffin? <laughs> Boy, you is cop. Don't come down here talking noise. Don't you come down here with that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, Lord. Don't. Whatever do you. <laughs> Y'all, he said I get on live and start showing. You know what? I'm going to leave him alone. I'm going to leave him alone. But this is it. Okay. Any SLG you can convert, convert it. The, that's why I tell you I push for you guys to get the mini post shit. What are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to get out your business. <laughs> no, he better not. But this right here, guys, it's a wristlet. You don't want to take, you know, if you don't want to take your entire handbag. Okay, we can't be leaving our handbags in the car. But if you don't want to take your entire handbag, if you know you have your husband in the car or you have your adult child sitting in the car, they don't want to go in the grocery store with you. Get out of my business, Chris. You not finna sit up here and be in my <laughs> Chris. I'm just looking at you. Okay. You wanna come tell them hi? Hi guys. <laughs> hi guys. Bye. And you see this right here? This is where my keys are. So what I can do, I can. Okay. Put this in here. Guys, you can take your key fob with you. You have your credit cards. You have your IDs here in the back. Quick store run. Quick store run, okay? Right here. Chris, they say they want the podcast. So that's it, guys. That's why I love the Slim Purse, okay? All of my SLGs, anyone that I can convert, I love. Because, guys, we have to get our money's worth, okay? Hey! So, convert. If you have the Slim Purse, you see that? That was easy. Convert. Mm-hmm. A makeup bag? No, I was honestly going in the Galleria to look for the um, the large cosmetic bag because that's an easy convert. I know I can convert that easy, so I wanted to actually go in there, purchase that. I might just order it online and convert anything that any SLG because they're much cheaper than handbags, guys. Okay, uh, this is called the Slim Purse, so. For those that are new to LV, look and check out those SLGs. If right now purchasing a handbag is just, you know, too expensive, start with an SLG and just get a feel of just having an LV handbag in your collection. Yeah, sure. Here it is. This is the front. It has a front slot here. Card holder compartments here. And then inside. See, I have my receipts in here. Yes, a large cosmetic bag that came out. Uh, it came out, I think it was the end of February, beginning of March. But I most definitely can. Oh, thank you so much, Cindy. Hey. Let me see what other handbag, of course. One of my favorites. The uh, pochette. Do I have SLGs in here? Yes, look. Guys, my stuff, my stuff is everywhere. Oh, thank you, Becca. 
Guess who? Awesome. Guys, that mini pochette on chain, they're crazy. Out their mind. No way. But start with a mini pochette and convert. Turn it into a small crossbody, guys. You can honestly... Look, I have lotion. I have my lip gloss. That's basically what I have. I love lip gloss. More lip gloss. Okay. If you want a crossbody, you see how that went in there? If you want a crossbody, it holds a card holder. Now, your key fob, you have to take your key fob out. You see that? It will hold your key fob. Turn it into a crossbody. Yes, this is a mini pochette. Look at that. You can even put some lip gloss in here. I don't want to stretch it out. You see that? You can still put your lip gloss in here, guys. So, right now, you see everything that I fit, guys. And that was, if you have a smaller, a thinner card holder, use that. But, guys, it's a card holder in here. All of my cards, everything that I need, my lip gloss, and my key fob. Turn this into a crossbody. Because you guys be thinking I'll be playing with you guys. See if I can do it for you. This is a crossbody now. It tore a hole. You have a key, your key fob. Oh, you said an actual key. Yes, most definitely. You would tear up the canvas that way. I love mine. But I'm just telling you guys, for you, for you guys that are starting, if you don't want to purchase an expensive handbag from LV, I heard that. The new mini pochette. Mm -mm. Yeah, but I, I can't. I'm not purchasing because it's a little bit bigger. They're just trying to get money. Ain't no way. And yes, this is the AirPod holder. Y'all better be glad everything you're asking for, I actually have it right here. But yes. It holds my AirPods. I don't know if I have them with me. Yep, here they are. So, guys, I love it. Yes, a lot. Most definitely, like I wouldn't use, I wouldn't use the um the pochette Matisse strap with this. I I would use a gold chain strap. I just don't have one right here with me. Okay. Yep, that's if you want to start off. <laughs> no, you are not crazy. And for you guys, I told you guys, I showed you in my stories, this came, this is a chain strap from LV. Okay, it came off my loot bag. I just turned it into a choker. I'm going to get my money's worth. <laughs> and so I can just take this off. So this actually came with my handbag. Okay, I just love to stack my necklaces. That's it. I'm going to get my money's worth. Me too. I love having trifectas in my collection. 
I love looking at my favorites. Like the new favorites that LV released, I think it was in 2020, I don't care for. I don't care for. I'm buying it only because that's my name. Go for it. Go for it. That's, you don't even, I wouldn't even ask any questions. If your name, if that's your name, go get your scarf. Like anything that drops, that has the, the uh, Taurus on there, all the Taurus bandos, I purchase. Yes, I saw the Speedy 20 and the Damier Bean, guys. I spoke on that. I most definitely saw that already. I've seen two pictures. I've seen one with a good tar strap, and I've seen one with a brown strap, and it also had a chain. It had a chain and the regular brown strap. I saw two pictures. This means, guys, it is still in production. It's still in production. So you know when things are still in production? Not even, no, it hasn't even made it to production. It's just a picture. It's just a picture. So it's still up and down if it's going to even make it to production. That's why I haven't showed any pictures. Um, I'm just letting you guys know and giving you guys the tea. Okay? Yes, I saw it. But it came with two because a young lady, she was on here um, and she let me know. She was just like, she saw with the good tar strap. Like two days later, my CA sent it to me. So it's two pictures that's going around. The Speedy 20 Dame Bean has the regular brown strap, but it also has a chain strap as well, like an extender. And then with the guitar strap i think the guitar strap is going to win because it was the last picture that my ca sent me and so usually when it's the last picture that's what it's going to be so i don't know let's just keep our fingers crossed yes i'm hoping for the regular i want it to be exactly the same as the speedy 25 bandolier but no the Braza wallet, it, it's discontinued. I have it in the Damier E. Bean. Chris, can you do me a favor, please? I'm sorry, you don't. I didn't. I didn't mean to say you. You sound like you smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I want you to go get the Braza wallet so I can share with our friends. <laughs> Y'all, I have to apologize. Huh? It's in my closet. Because they don't have long. They only have 15 minutes. Thank you so much, Andrea. I got to put some of you guys as moderator. I'm missing Letty. Letty's usually on here. Oh, yeah. We're getting. We're going to get a guitar strap. But the thing is... I don't, I don't know. Someone did that for me. I'm going to have to try to get it. But it's... Um, it's in the reels. It's out now. I forgot the name of it. Did I ever know the name of it? No, she just sent me a couple of songs for my intro, and I told her I like that song. Chris, they said this is for them. This is not even for me. <laughs> Y'all, he gonna talk his noise. He gonna talk his little noise. I don't know what he's talking his noise for. The Crusette handbag, I have it. And the, I wish I would have purchased, but at that time they didn't have it in the Damier Ebene print. So I got it in the uh, Azure. I know, I'm not a fan of the good tar strap, but hey, we want those handbags. We can always take the good tar strap off and convert. So. I'm stuck right now with two or three guitar straps. But I actually, um, I use them as belts. I use them as belts. So, so when I went into the LV store, guys, let me tell you, I didn't see anything. It was like walking in my closet. Uh, it's the, uh, the Damier E. Bean. It's the long wallet.
They only got 13 minutes. <laughs> yes, for me in Houston, for me, it was cold this morning. I think it was like 50 degrees. I had the Azure one. If Chris, if Chris can get it, I can show you guys because I've only used it twice. Chris, the dummy, wait, oh, you going fast. Hold on, wait. I said the dummy Azure. You know what the dummy Azure is. Anyways. <laughs> Y'all, I was trying to get him to grab it, but he ran through here. Girl, it, yes, he running like he like he in in track. I don't know what's wrong. And he better not be like King and bring out anything else, or that's it. Let me see. <laughs> okay, this is what he brought these two out. At least he got it right. This is, he brought two out. He said if this, if he didn't get the right one, oh well. <laughs> so he, he, he brought these out. So this is the other slim purse, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry, baby. Okay, do you have any? Probably not because I've only used it five times. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, I don't use it much. But no, no corner wear. It looks brand new. Nope. I use the bag tag more than I use the bag, the backpack. I use this for like football season when King was in Little League. I sneak my snacks in here. But let me take this out. This is the Braza wallet. Let me take my baby, his little thing out. You see, this is discontinued. Congratulations and welcome to the LV community. I love the graceful. Yeah, Chris was out of here. I was trying to get him to grab the crusade, but he was like, no. I love it. I love, I love it. But this is discontinued, guys. You won't find it in this print. Yes, poor King. You know he's fired after that. But this is the best. Me. Yes, they did that to me too. They did that to me too. Like, lady, you cannot convince me to buy anything. No. Like, she kept bringing out uh, the Capucine handbags. I'm like, no. And they were all mini. I'm like, I don't want no mini Capucine and pay $6,500 for a mini that doesn't even hold my cell phone, my mini pochette. No. So this right here must have, this is my favorite, favorite wallet. Okay, this is my favorite. It, they don't make it in this print. You can find it in the monogram print. Yes, once you make your first purchase, guys, that's it. You gonna be purchasing like crazy. I was trying to see, do I still have? Yeah, this was the product code number. Can y'all see? This was four years ago. So hopefully, I don't know if your CA can look it up and try to find it, but it's not on the website. Hopefully you got a screenshot and try to look for it. Yeah, no, they didn't have anything. When I went in there, it was like looking into my own closet. Honestly, guys, it was like looking into my own closet. I tried the LV Tilted handbag, the reverse monogram as a crossbody, and I was like, no. It is so small to me. Very cute, but it's small. I wasn't having it. Okay. And also, for the slim purse, guys, you don't need every, every print, okay? Like, there's no reason. Don't do this, okay? Let me show you. You don't need to do this. I only purchase because I love reverse monogram. You know what? I don't know why I'm telling you guys not to do it. Do what you want. Okay, do what you want. 
I love monogram in black. I love reverse monogram. And so that's why I purchased. And I have the Damier Azure one. Okay. But the Brazza Wallet is my favorite. So if you can get your hands on a monogram, this is it. I'm trying to get this other handbag, guys. Hold on. Okay. And this baby here. Have an organizer inside. So cute. Now, this is creative. This is what I love. Yes, if you don't need it, I'm telling you, don't get it. Because I honestly can live with, if I get the monogram one and that, I was supposed to get that from the Woodlands. I'm going to talk about that later. <laughs> what happened with that? Um, because they were trying to sell me one and she was sending me pictures. And when I say I can basically see it peeling, like they were getting ready to hot stamp, I mean, slide my card. And good thing she asked me where I wanted the hot stamped i asked for another picture and this was just peeling i was like nope not at all so the monogram like i wouldn't need i wouldn't need all these other card holders but this baby here this screams watch out look at me this is to me is the luxury look honestly it's different, creative. I love how they have the back right here flat so it can lay up against your side. The tote handle is perfect for a bando. I just love this. It holds a ton. I have an organizer inside. You most definitely can take this out. Okay, you can take this out. It holds so much. I don't think, can this fit? Let me see. It'd be hard to close. It wouldn't close. You know I had to try it out and see. Cell phone. Let me see what else I have. Mini pochette. It holds a lot, guys. It holds so much. Thank you so much, Felicia. I will get that out tomorrow. So you see? So cute. I love it. But this right here, the strap, probably somewhere. I don't, it's in, I have like a box full of straps. And if Chris was down here, I'll tell him to go get it. But the strap, I, I can't stand it because it's not it's not tall girl friendly. It's not even short girl friendly. I don't like the strap. Yes, it's very, very stylish. That's why I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So it holds a lot. This and the Vanity PM are basically one, like both of them are my favorites from the reverse monogram print because they're so different. Very different. Like, I would love to have a reverse money ground browser wallet. Money ground. Yes, the Odeon is such a slip-on handbag. The Odeon is slip-on. I don't see the Odeon a lot. The only time I saw the Odeon handbag is when I went to Las Vegas. I didn't see the Odeon handbag a lot. At all. But when I went into the LV store, guys, it was just not it. It was just not it for me. Like the monogram clutch, the one handle, just a bag, period. I just, I couldn't get with it. I couldn't get with it at all. So, guys, let's just wait and let's purchase smart. And 
I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to order from Bob the Bob the Pool collection because it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Once my CA confirms that the Damier E. Bean Speedy 20 is coming out, which I'm pretty sure that is going to come out, I'm going to let you guys know. Oh, yes. The Odin most definitely is worth, guys, it holds so much. It holds so much. You know what? I only got a few minutes. Y'all have two minutes. I was going to run and get the handbag, but y'all have two minutes. Y'all going to try to keep me on here. Mm-mm. I can't let you do it. Mm -hmm. No, I saw that. Oh, that's awesome. See, my CA told me it was not to, that it wasn't confirmed yet. Oh, I just hope it is. But I'm happy about it. I told you guys. I told you guys. This is the cans handbag. Because when, um, I can't wait to show pictures and share. Oh, yeah, the Odin is, is the best. Sorry, guys. I was going to get the crew sit and show you guys. But yes, so my CA told me that since she sent two pictures, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the good tar strap. So save your coins, guys. Let's purchase smart. Let's purchase handbags that we know we are going to use and need. That handbag. <laughs> Y'all have one minute. When this thing go off, I'm gone. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> the time is up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you could have switched straps. You could have switched. <laughs> yes, you could have switched. Yes, you guys heard that. Da -da -da -ding, da -da -da -ding, da -da -ding. <laughs> snooze, snooze. <laughs> uh-uh, Rosa. <laughs> Latoya, I'm sorry. Y'all thought I was playing about that timer. But no, for real. It's only because we have this the, the chicken ice cream. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, we still didn't get to talk about my LV experience. Okay. <laughs> and it was so much more. But um, yes, I love you guys. I do. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to try to do another live, guys. I, I am. I'm going to have to try to do another live. Yes. But the Speedy 20, um, I'm going to try to ask my CA if I can show you guys the picture, okay, in my stories. I'm going to do a quick post and a quick delete, okay? So the Speedy 20 Damier Bean is either a brown strap or a guitar strap. I will keep you guys updated. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. I hate, you know, we didn't get to talk about everything. I love you guys. I love you too. Mwah. Thank you guys so much for the support and love. Bye-bye.